One of the biggest problems women face while going through IVF is how to, uh, how to deal with their emotions. In this five part series, we are talking about grief. Um, if you haven't watched the previous two series uh, where we've talked about the stages of grief, stage one was denial, stage two was anger, and today we're going to talk about stage three, of the grief of the griefing process and um yeah um, i really want to welcome you to this um uh, i'm joe i've been through ivf five times at uh, five attempts and i've had one successful attempt out of all of the five so i know what it means to grieve I know what it means to be angry. I know what it means to live in denial. And I definitely know what it means to bargain. Today we're going to talk about bargaining as um, stage three in the briefing process. In the briefing process. You know, bargaining, this was a real difficult one for me actually, because I remember pleading and saying, if you let me, please, God, I'll do anything. I'll be so good. I'll, you know, you fill in the blanks, whatever, whatever you want to plead about, I did it. Think about it like um, going before a, a, a judge and pleading your case and the judge is about to send you for down for 30 years and he's telling you okay what do you have to say for yourself why shouldn't i send you for 30 years and you you start to plead your case and you better be good and convince the judge otherwise you're going down for that time you're doing that time so that's how i felt um like i was doing i felt like i was pleading for my life during that pro ivf process i said i'll be so good i'll do this please god let me i'll go church every sunday oh oh my gosh if I if I tell you what I pleaded on that on those days or during the during the process, it was insane. But you know what I found? I found that, that like bargaining was pain. Like it was painful. It was energy draining. Like you keep on doing it over and over and over again. And eventually you run out of steam. Like I've just felt like, I've got no energy left. <laughs> Seriously, because you're bargaining for your life. I mean, you want this human so badly that you're prepared to do anything like anything you would do it because because you feel like oh maybe if you're good or if you're this you start to feel like maybe you haven't been so good in your previous life or maybe you you start to feel all sorts of emotions guilt becomes your constant companion because you're now thinking or oh, is it because of that? Is it because of that? Is it because of that? So you, you're you kind of going through your mind. You're, you, this is going through your mind. It's like being on a tape recorder. The moment you get out of bed in the morning, it starts to play over and over, over again. And it never, never stops. And um, during the process, it doesn't stop. In fact, it, on every stage of the process, you're bargaining. You're bargaining for the eggs so that you can retrieve a lot of eggs you bargain so that you can actually have some good quality eggs then you bargain so that the embryo can fertilize then you bargain so that the embryo can attach how many of you know what i'm talking about seriously it's like it's so energy draining and this is what i felt like while i was going through that it was so energy draining but do you know what? I'm here to tell you that at the end of it, like once you know what to do, you become better. You be, you manage your emotions better. You become, you know what to do. Like once you know what to do, it becomes easier, shall I say, you know? So when I did it the first time and I thought, hold on one minute, I'm just so exhausted. 
I've literally, do you know when you feel like you've run out of bargaining, uh, bargaining chips, uh, like you've got nothing left to bargain with, you've used everything you've got to bargain. That's how I felt. And I'm like, what do I do now? What's left? Like seriously, what's left? And then, then you realize actually, oh, then you start to feel a bit angry because you're thinking, this is so not fair. Like obviously when it doesn't work, the bargaining didn't work, did it? And it happened to me four times. I was like a raging woman with hormones. I was like, this is so not fair. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Not fair. But you know, I lived in that and thank goodness I lived in that because now I can put a word on it. Before, I didn't know what to put on it. Before, I didn't know what the hell was happening to me. I was like, I thought I was going mad. Like, you, do you know what I mean? Um, I remember one of my friends described me that one minute she's really, really happy and the next minute she's so moody. Uh, in my mind, I thought, I wish you knew what I was going through. I wish you knew. But obviously, well, they, uh, they, so they, they do know sometimes, but they don't know that impact IVF has got on us. And actually, everybody's different. Everybody deals with their emotions different. We are all at different stages. This is what I want to emphasize. We are all walking our journeys. Everybody's walking in their lane. Every lane is different. Like you cannot, you cannot um, walk in somebody else's lane. Somebody might go through IVF and they might think it's a walk in the park. Or somebody might be like, what's she talking about? We did it once, it was successful, I'm really happy. We are all different. I'm talking about those, la I'm talking to those ladies out there who actually struggled, who like me, were wondering what the heck was happening to them, who thought they were going insane. Ladies, you're not going insane. You're not going crazy. I'm here to tell you that's part of the process. Grief is a process. I didn't know that, but now I know. Now I know. And now I, I can vividly remember all those processes. I can remember at each process what, how I experienced those emotions. Now I can deal better with them. Uh, I, I can deal with them better, rather. Now, you know? And what really helped me during that bargaining process, what really, really helped me was I went and got help, first of all. This was not something that I had experienced. This was not something that I was going to think away. This was, this was not going anywhere. This was constantly there. This became my companion. Like if I wasn't feeling anger, I was in denial. If I wasn't in denial, I was bargaining for something. These emotions were like, you know like when you open a tap and the water just flows and flows and flows and flows and it might even overflow and like if you don't turn it off uh, and that's how I felt and I, I felt like okay how do I turn this off I didn't know so I had to get some help and learn how to turn it off and one way to deal with a bargaining process uh, that really, really helped me was like to sit still and put myself first, to really, really focus on me. You know, for I was so focused. My focus was all over the place. I was focused on IVF. I was focusing on what people think. I was focusing on what people would say about me. I would focus, you focus on everything but yourself. You forget about yourself sometimes in this IVF process. And what really, really helped me was to get centered and focus on myself. And once I started to do that, I went deep within. And once I started to go deep within, I realized how strong I was. And that helped me heal slowly by slowly. Ladies, these practices do really work. 
you know you can actually get results from these practices because they worked for me they uh, they they will work like if you practice them they will work i mean everybody's different uh, obviously but the for the majority of people they do really work well and i really wish you the best um for the rest of the evening i'll be back tomorrow with stage four i can't wait i'm so excited you know there's five stages we are almost at the end of the series if it's your first time watching this series please um share the share the series or if you really really need some support right now you're out there you're saying look i'm really really struggling on this stage private message me and I'll be able to help you. Until tomorrow, ladies, all the best. Take care of yourselves and stay safe. Bye.